Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Uh, this video is going to be kind of on the long side. Uh, I'll try to shorten it as much as I can with fast forwarding through uh, a few sections that I can. But what we're doing today is when I first bought this HP notebook with my uh, AMD Athlon Silver 3050U processor, like the first thing I did was upgrade it. And then I downgraded it, but I never have really done any specific performance between the two. So what we're doing tonight is I have the original SSD in here. I'm not going to upgrade that. All we're doing is we're going to add eight gigs of RAM to this laptop uh, and just see what effect just adding eight gigs of RAM does to the system. So I have it opened up here. I've, I've uh, it's not uh, screwed together. Took the bottom off. Um, it's just sitting on there so the fan can can cool the system. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and just log in here and we are going to run a benchmark first and foremost just to get some baseline numbers from a fresh reboot and while this is loading up here one thing that uh, I get flack for is this has four gigs of memory in it and so it's running in single channel when you add another dim of RAM uh, I'm going to continue. There is it here. Memory. So it's running currently in single channel mode. Don't know if you can see that or not. I'll zoom in here. See right there. Show single channel. So when we add the second dim, you will actually show it will run in dual channel. Manufacturers are smart enough that this will run a dual channel up until it hits eight gigs of consumed memory then once it spills over that eighth gig onto this then it switches back to single um, channel so that's actually kind of a cool thing uh, but let's go ahead uh, let's see physical memory four gigs 266 uh, 2667 megahertz which i believe is what this is yeah 2666 all right so timing will be the same uh, and this is the other thing we're checking. So it has 512 megabytes of RAM. So half a gig of RAM for the graphics card. And let's go ahead and this is where we're going to speed this up. Uh, we're going to, oh, let's check the drive. Yeah, we have the 120 gig SAND disk, just typical S a SATA drive in here. It does support NVMe, uh, but it just has a SATA drive for now. And we'll be back once this is done.
right, so benchmarking is done. And we just go, go through some numbers here real quick. Overall score is 1405. Uh, CPU is 3271. And the other score I really care about is the 3D graphics mark, which is, uh, we'll just call that uh, 550. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check a few things and zoom back out. Now, the reason why I have it set up this way, two reasons. One, the screen, you can see me super, super, super glossy. And it's the only way I can get the screen uh, and not just have all just pure reflections from the lights around me. Uh, the other thing is I want to show that I'm not swapping out laptops or anything like that. This is the same laptop through this whole thing. Um, but let's go ahead and close out of this. And we're going to reboot the system and take a look at the BIOS. That's something I've been asked uh, a number of times. So let's take a look at that here real quick. Recovery. Uh, event startup. Uh, troubleshoot. Advance. Doesn't recognize. There we go. And I just want to show in here. There's just not a lot of options uh, that you can change on here. System logs, device firmware revision, set the date and time, security. Just a few options there. Again, uh, language virtualization, fan always on, action keys mode enable, battery remaining time, boot options, and exit. So we can't change how much memory is uh, set aside for graphics automatically or anything like that so let's go ahead shut it off completely and we will upgrade the RAM come on I'll have to grab that cord it fell down I'll grab that in a second fighting me. All right, and that's all we've done. Here's the original. It even says replace with HP spare. The original memory, we just added that 8 gig DIMM, which is the same speed. All right, let me grab that power cord here. First and foremost, let's go ahead and open up CPU-Z. Go to memory. You see here we now have 12 gigabytes and it is running in dual channel. Let's zoom in. See right there where before it said single, now it says dual. And again, it will run in dual channel up until it matches, until it consumes enough memory to match. Uh, both dim so up to four gigs for each dim or a total of eight and then it will drop to a single channel and let's go ahead and run the benchmark again so open up pass mark Okay, so first thing I want to check. So now we should expect a huge difference because let's zoom in here. Before it only showed 128, or excuse me, 512 megabytes of video RAM. Now it has dedicated two gigs to video memory. And that's probably the biggest performance gain that this system has over other similar systems is AMD is able to recognize the increase in memory and allocate video memory as needed. So we have the two DIMMs here. We have the uh, four gigs and the eight gigs. Okay. And let's go ahead, let's zoom out all the way. Let's go ahead and run the benchmark.
right, and we have finished the performance test. And uh, across the board, scores did go up, I believe, uh, a little bit, uh, except for disk mark, but that's with an error of margin. So CPU up uh, just over, just under 20 points. Uh, 2D uh, was up 50 points, which is a pretty big gain. Um, 3D is up about 300 points. Uh, I have computers that are only 300 points in the 3D graphics mark. Memory bar mark obviously went up by um, about 500 points or so, a little, a little under 500 points. And this mark mm, with a margin of error, uh, just a few points there. So honestly, uh, really big performance gains overall in just general usability by going from four gigs of RAM to, in this case, 12 gigs of RAM. Uh, the fact that it's able to dedicate two gigs to the graphics card makes a huge difference in even being able to play some games. And so on some of the other smaller systems that I've run on that have the four gigs soldered to the system board, uh, you can't even play certain games because they see that it only has four gigs and it'll just crash. It won't even load the game because it knows that's not enough memory in the system uh, for it to run and provide uh, memory to the graphics card. So yeah, it won't even run. So uh, the fact that you can upgrade this and it will quadruple the amount of RAM uh, dedicated to the graphics card is pretty awesome. So uh, I recorded this video to answer several questions I've had. I've been meaning to do this for a while. Um, if you ever have any questions about any of the laptops I've reviewed recently, again, I emphasize recently because I do not keep these for very long after I've reviewed them. Uh, I just don't have the room for the inventory. You can see my shelf here. That's completely full right now of laptops. Um, but uh, yeah, if you have any questions about something I reviewed recently, I'll do my best to answer those. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.